Uh, but whatever you're doing around the Bay today, really good weather for it. Boy, Darren, I stepped outside. It was really glorious, warmer than I expected. Yeah, and we're going to be a little warmer tomorrow and the day after that. So the city already did a big jump to get up to 70 degrees today, which is where Ann was and what she's talking about. Right on the verge of 70 in, in San Francisco is a day when you notice the warm-up. But everybody's going to go up a few more degrees tomorrow and Thursday. We looked at that at the top of the newscast. I'm going to show you the numbers when we get to the seven-day, because as nice as they are going to be through Thursday, they're not lasting. And there's a significant cool down that's going to come just in time for the weekend. Let's take a look at that storm that's responsible for that, because in addition to the swings in temperature and the big drop, there's rain coming our way. Widespread rain coming on Saturday. So let's find that storm and do our best to get a handle on how this is going to come together. We're still about four days out. So today's Tuesday. We're looking at a forecast for rain on Saturday. That is just frustratingly one day beyond the high resolution model's ability to really depict it. So right now we can go this far with high resolution and fairly high certainty. The challenge with this forecast is that storm is going to be another one of these Say it along with me if you've been watching this winter. Cut off low. So it's going to get cut off from the storm track. There's going to be nothing to steer it along. It's just going to wind itself up right off the coast. Watch what happens when we put this into the long-range forecast models. You can tell we lose a little bit of resolution, but we can still track this. And even if it's not a crystal clear picture, there's a high degree of confidence that that's what things are going to look like as we get to Saturday early morning. Now, when we get better resolution on this, you're going to be able to see that's a tightly wound up area of low pressure sitting right off the coast. And the leading edge of it right there is kind of that initial cold front. That's the way these things come in, right? You get your first widespread, steady bands of rain. That will be Saturday morning. And then as we go through Saturday morning, that moves through. You can see it there now. It's coming right across the bay. That's before, we're still before sunrise here. So Saturday morning at this point, it's widespread and steady rain. And then it'll turn into scattered showers after that for the rest of the day. And unfortunately, it looks like this thing's going to stick around going into Sunday. So it has slowed down from where it looked like it was yesterday, which means now we got to keep a chance for scattered showers in the forecast for the second half of the weekend. It doesn't look like a whole lot, but it does look like we'll still have some rain. So both days are going to have rain on them when we get to the 70 forecast. Now, here's the other challenge in terms of this forecast. Just how much rain are we talking about? And if we use, we're going to look at two different forecast models here. This is the one that's uh, done a little bit better over the course of the winter. That's the European model. And it's showing we could get close to an inch. Concord, maybe an inch. Santa Rosa, maybe about nine-tenths. But if we look at that other long-range model, it doesn't have as high resolution going out this far, and we're looking at the ensemble here, which is maybe a little bit better of a gauge because it takes many different forecast models and takes the median, and, and it's really kind of a, a more reliably responsible way to forecast when you're out to day five. This one says it's a half an inch. So the caveat is the other model's done better almost all winter. And that one's saying it's going to be closer to an inch. We'll see. Things are starting to change in the atmosphere now. It's taken on a little bit more of a spring driving effect to it. And that could have an impact in the way these models play things out. And we'll have much more on this system as we get closer to it. In the meantime, whether it's a half an inch or an inch, it's going to rain. It's going to rain Saturday. And there's going to be some leftover showers on Sunday. And then we get into Monday and Tuesday of next week. We'll start warming up. We're not doing like low 80s warm like we... We are for the next couple of days, but we'll still be back in the low 70s by next Tuesday. All right, Ann, back to you. All right, well, enjoy the next couple of days. Thanks, Darren.